Hi, this is Kim from Affordable Crafty, and today I am going to be making my very first copper mordant. So, to make this, you're going to need some very simple ingredients. I'm using some reclaimed copper that started out in big, huge wound things, wound, I don't know what you call them, ropes or whatnot, and I cut them down to little pieces. So I had some pieces like this, and then I had some pieces, I don't know if you can see on the bottom, that were larger. Um, I'm going to be using some of these smaller pieces to make my mordant. I have a different project in mind for the big pieces that I'll talk about later. Um, so before I show you how to do this, um, I have this channel and I do a lot of different DIYs. I dabble in many different areas of the craft universe. Um, but lately I've been very motivated to discover dyeing wool um, and other natural yarns and I've been crocheting and I try and stretch my craft dollar and be affordably crafty. So if this is something you'd like to hear more about, please subscribe and like this video. Let me know in the comments if you've ever made a mordant before, a copper mordant, or if you've ever used it in dyeing. Um, so let's get right into it. So I have a fiance who is in construction. And if you have anybody who's in construction, you know sometimes the weirdest stuff gets hoarded at your house. So given the times we're in, I was like, what can I use that is on hand to make a mordant? Do we have copper anywhere? And I was like, self, there's that bin that's been in the backyard forever. So this monstrosity is what I'm talking about. Yeah, folks, if you have someone in construction, you know my pain. So I basically dug through there and got, uh, I don't know, four or five of big ones like this that luckily I didn't have to strip. There was no rubber on the outside. And I just started cutting them up. And what I've been cutting them with is just a pair of pliers that look like this. I'm sure there's some construction type name for this, but whatever these kind of pliers are that have the closed thing on the back that can cut the wire. And I've just been cutting them into pieces like about this big. Cutting with one hand is challenging. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these smaller pieces like I said, I'm going to use the bigger pieces in another project. And I have an empty jar. So what I'm going to do is put some of these in the empty jar. So. Honestly, I'm not sure how much to put in here. It's just going to be kind of an experiment at this point. So. A little bit more than that. So what I'm looking to do, or aiming to do, is to basically cover the bottom of that. Let me get a less awkward angle here. Oof. Be careful if you're doing this. These copper pieces are kind of pokey. A couple more handfuls, maybe. And like I said, this is going to be kind of an experiment making this the first time. So I'm going to be um, turning this to get some oxygen in there aeration um, every day for a little while. I expect this to probably take a month to be able to be usable, but we'll see. I'll need a couple, another handful and then I'm going to be done with that. Okay, whoops, and I dropped one. Well, of course I did. Alright, so if you can see, I kind of just covered the bottom with that much. And Again, I'm guessing. And then what we're going to do, very simply, is I am going to take this vinegar and I'm going to pour it over the copper. Let me just open the vinegar. And this is just plain old white vinegar. That lately I've been buying in just a gallon thing. And I'm just gonna pour the vinegar in. Clearly I didn't have enough out here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, afterwards, get some vinegar and put it up to this line maybe. You want to leave some head space, that's the opening, um, on the top in case there's bubbling or anything else. And you also want to leave some oxygen in the jar to aerate it. That's kind of what helps with the chemical reaction. 
So that's that. And also make sure you have a tight fitting lid. That is very, very important. Otherwise this is not gonna work. So I'm just putting the lid on. And there we go. Hey there, just vinegar. So I'm gonna put a label on this and a date, which is also really important because I'm trying to figure out how long this takes to turn into a usable mordant. And I'll be using this as a mordant so that I can get my plant dyes, my natural dyes, to stick onto um, my wool. And also, sometimes this can be used to change the color of some of the dye. So copper will shift the color in some different dyes. So I'm interested in experimenting with that when this is done. So if, if you like my video and you want to see some more, please subscribe. Stay crafty, everyone. Bye. Hello, everyone. So three days have gone by, and I just wanted to show you that I labeled this jar with copper mordant, the ingredients, copper and vinegar, and the date 53020 that was made. And if you can see, there's an important change in here. See the color? It's slightly got a blue tinge to it, or maybe a green tinge. That means this is working. So all of these down here, all the crud off of the copper is gone. The vinegar is doing its work. So that should just keep getting more green-blue the longer it stays in here. Um, just to check in with my other mordant. This is one of the jars of iron mordant that I made on the 29th. And as you can see, there's all these bits of stuff on the top and bubbles that shows us that this is actually reacting and doing something. And if I shake it up, see it gets dark. It's going to take a little while longer for this to get ready, but see I also put a label on here, iron mordant nails and a quarter vinegar and three fourths H2O 52920. So this one I have been shaking every day to aerate it and remember I made two of these so here's the other one same thing bubbles the stuff in there you know it's working shake it up so this is my other more than that I worked on this week um, I'll link the video up above but thank you for sticking around and learning about mordants. And if you like what you see, subscribe. Give me a like and share the video. Have an awesome day. Bye.